Hey everyone, I'm Darth Bry Boy. Give me a second. This lighting is fucking shit. I really, really don't like shooting videos on this webcam, but I don't have my monopod, which is the thing I use for my cell phone, which is far better video resolution, obviously, than this fucking thing does. And my T3i is a bitch to work with when it comes to shooting Blu-ray and DVD updates. You have no fucking idea how hard it is to get the right shots, how long it takes me to get to refocus it, and to make sure those shots are in focus. I'm kind of fucked for a little while editing and playing around with the fucking webcam shit. So why don't we just get the last HD DVD out of the way, and you're like... What? This is a Blu-ray? That's not right. But no, you're wrong. You're wrong. That's an HD DVD. See that shit? That is HD DVD. Now why, why is this in a Blu-ray case? Because the case the movie came in was broken. So, here's some disc art there of disc 2 and here's some disc art of disc 1 yeah the only the main thing I'm just fucking pissed off about that fucking monopod hopefully in like a week or two or like a few days I'll look back on this video and be like wow I was pissed when I found it in the most obvious spot imaginable but I've been looking all over my house. I can't find the fucking thing. So that sucks. <sighs> Next we got one of my favorite movies of all time. One of my favorite Star Wars movies of all time. Top three favorite Star Wars movies of all time. My number one movie of the year. Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. I fucking love this movie. And I regret that I can't fucking show you a better quality image of it than this webcam but we'll work with what we have as they say the only thing that sucks about this blu-ray release is that it does not match up with the um the complete saga blu-ray release so that sucks and neither does the dvd so even if i wanted to get another copy of this movie like the dvd copy so i could have um a complete collection of four or five of uh, the entire Star Wars saga, including The Force Awakens, that it wouldn't line up, so that sucks. Here, you can have it. You know why you can have it? Because it's useless to me. And I don't know about this piece of paper, but I'll keep it. So, this thing really sucks. Not the movie, but the case it came in. That's because... That's because the case is one of these stackable motherfuckers. Got disc one. Love the di the discard on this is fucking great though, so I gotta give props to that. Disc two, of course, every standalone Star Wars release, most of them anyway, have been two disc DVD slash two disc. Let's just say two disc editions in general. The prequels had bonus DVDs in them, and my copies of the original trilogy have bonus. DVDs in them, I like, they're the alternate cuts, you know, the good cuts, but George Lucas gave you shitty fucking versions. Funny enough, I like the DVD uh, disc art the best. Now, I do have a digital copy of this movie, even though I didn't use the promo code. That's because this computer has a DVD ripper in it. So, I get the digital copies of the movie, and you're like, oh, that's an illegal way of getting the digital copy. Motherfucker, I bought this movie legally. I pre-ordered this movie like a week or a month in advance, okay? I'm entitled to get a digital copy of the movie even though I don't use the code for the digital copy release, okay? Because I like to use the pieces of paper for Disney Movie Reward Points. And in fact, I'm trying to save up enough Disney Movie Reward Points to get... to get Alice in Wonderland. You know, the uh, Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland because... I want to give that movie a shot. Like, I've seen the Nostalgia Critic review of it, but I want to give that movie an honest look. I want to see if I like it or not. So we got Man with the Iron Fist, 7-Eleven Blu-ray. You're going to be seeing a couple more of these fuckers. So, there's a side. 
back. This was, I believe, five dollars. So that's why I'm happy with it. And look, you can have my digital code, even though it's useless to me, because I've got a DVD. So if I really wanted Man with the Iron Fists, I could just DVD rip it. And thankfully, this is not a 20th Century Fox release. Let's check. It's a Universal release, so they're not going to be dickheads about it. I'm looking forward to doing it, an in-depth video about about 20th Century Fox and how they had the perfect tool to combat piracy, like DVD rippers, but they fucking threw it away in a matter of years, and it's pathetic. And I got a couple of 20th Century Fox releases that are a prime example of how to prevent pirates from ripping your movie, because a lot of these companies will complain about DVD ripping, and yet they will complain about it, but when they have the perfect, perfect way to stop piracy, they completely throw it away. So that's full of the walls, am I right? Next, I got the original Red Dawn, and you know me. You know I like to complete these collections, man. I like to complete a good collection. Love the disc art on this, by the way. So, we got the original. And we got the remake of Red Dawn. Why? These are two 7-Eleven purchases. And I showed these off in a uh, Best Buy vlog video I did with my phone. And I'm not sure if this code works or not. But what the fuck? Okay, um, this shit is useless to me. No, oh, that's a... The Marine 4. Who the fuck watches the Marine movies? <sighs> you fucking dipwits. Yeah, you see why I stopped doing webcam videos? Starting to see why, even though I do got the Blue Yeti on standby. But nevertheless, this is the reason why. At least with the update videos. Other videos I don't mind doing the webcam videos with, but whatever. Oh, well, here's the... Blu-ray and DVD, and I'm looking forward to going into a more in-depth video about that in the near future. So, that's it for the uh, part one of the Blu-ray updates and the end of the HD DVD updates. So, well, actually, that's not true. I do have a box set coming in the mail, and hopefully by then I'll have my fucking selfie stick monopod in that time frame. Live long and prosper and have a nice day.